the color side facing up, and we're going to fold our triangle. So you're going to fold the first triangle, and the triangle is, okay, you're going to have the color side on the inside, right, and the white side is the other side. Hold your points together, and you're going to pull straight down to the other side. Fold to the left and right that way, and you're going to shift around that way. Yeah, this is where those two are going to be. Just here, just do this. You're going to first keep holding all the Hold it in place, pull straight down, fold to the left, fold to the right. And now we're going to unfold, rotate, and fold the other triangle, okay? So these are pre-creases that are going to set you up for uh, one of the maneuvers. It just makes it really easy to do this. And do the same for the other one. So unfold it, rotate, and then fold your triangle. I mentioned the last time that it, uh, some people find it helpful to have a tool like a bone folder like this, or you can, if you don't have that, you can just grab like a Sharpie or any other pen that's you know round, not the, the square edge, edged ones, but something that's really round like this. And you would actually, after you fold, you would take your tool and then, and then go over it. And then this makes your crease super, super flat and really nice and clean. I'm gonna use my Sharpie for that. Okay. Not necessary, but it does help to give you really nice clean folds. Okay, so now we're going to do the next step. You're going to unfold, turn the model over. So now that you have the white side or the back side of the paper facing up, and you're going to fold a rectangle. So what I do is line up one corner, line up the other corner, pull straight down from the middle, go to the left and right, and you've got a nice rectangle and we're going to do the same for the other piece. Unfold it, turn it over to the white side or the back side of the paper, and then fold that into your rectangle. Line up your corner, line up your second corner, pull down the middle, and then fold to the left and right. There are about seven or eight different ways to fold a crane. Um, this I found is the best way to fold the base, the crane base that we're doing, working on right now. The next step is you're going to open it. You're going to rotate and fold the other rectangle. So line up your corners, fold down the middle, and then go left and right. And the same for the other sheet. Open it, rotate, and fold your other rectangle. And keep it folded, just like this. Okay, so now this is the cool part. I love this part. If you take one of your sheets and on the folded edge, which you see right here, you're going to grab both corners, one in each hand like this. Keep your, your fingers, you know, pinched on the paper. And then what you're doing is you're going to push the paper together. And you see how the bottom, the four points come together like this. Then you're going to put it flat on the table. And then you end up with two flaps, one on this, two on this side and two on this side. Go ahead and make it nice and flat. And you end up with a preliminary base. And we're going to do the same for the other piece. So you're going to grasp, again, here's your folded edge. That's the edge that you want to grab the corners from. You're going to push the paper together. The four points at the bottom come together like this. 
And then you put it flat on the table and give it a nice all around crease. This is called the preliminary base. And for obvious reasons, it's named because it's like the base base of all bases. Pretty simple. Okay, so now we're going to do some more pre creases. Uh, I like to call this the ice cream cone fold because we're going to create an ice cream cone. So on you have the open end here and the closed end on top. Have the closed end facing away from you and the open end should be facing you. So here's your open end here. Now I mentioned that we have two flaps, one on each side or two on each side. Take one of them and on this bottom edge here where it's the open edge, you're going to bring that to the center line, which is kind of like a paper airplane fold. We're doing a valley fold to the center. Now it's important here to not go over that line. So you want to just go right up to it, but you do want it to come to a point down here. And then go ahead and make your crease like that. And do the same for the other flap. Again, it's this bottom edge here, the open edge, that's coming to the front center. And again, you're going to go up to, but not over that center crease. Here's your ice cream cone. And we're going to do one more step. So up here is what I call your ice cream. And you're going to take that and you're going to fold the ice cream onto your cone. So you're just going to fold that triangle down just like this. Okay. And now let's do the same for the other piece. So again, make sure that that opened end is facing you here. We're going to take this edge here and you're going to bring it to the center fold line. Again, do not go over that line. You want to just go right up to it, but not over it. And the same for the opposite side. So we're making our ice cream cone on this one. Go ahead and give it a nice crease. And then you're taking your ice cream and you're going to fold it onto your cone. So now this is the fun part. And it's also you know, the trickiest part. When you try to illustrate it on, in a book, it makes it a little tricky. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat the ice cream. So you're going to unfold that. And you're going to eat the cone. So unfold those three flaps. You see that triangle that you have here? We're going to use that as your guide to fold this next step, which is the petal fold. So peel off this top layer of paper here. You want to leave this ice cream, this edge here is like a hinge. So this stays flat. When you open the paper, you see how that stays flat. It becomes the hinge. So you're going to pull open the paper like this, stretch it out. And if you, if you keep stretching, you see how the sides come in? Kind of looks like a canoe, right? So as the sides come in, you'll notice that it's following those pre-creases that you made from the cone. So starting from the bottom, let's go ahead and fold this in. This is one part here. And then you're going to continue and fold along that ice cream cone shape. So it'll look like this. You may have to reach inside this corner and kind of open it up a little bit. But again, you're keeping that ice cream cone, um, the ice cream uh, hinge flat. Pull it open, bring the side in, starting from the bottom, work your way up. You're actually reversing the direction of the folds up here. So it's, you might give it, have to coax it a little bit to, to do that, but they'll follow right along that pre-crease that you've made. Now, before we, okay, now let's use, do the same thing for your, your other model here. So you're eating the ice cream, eating the cone. You're going to stretch the paper out. So you're going to peel this up, leaving this ice cream flat. Here's your hinge. 
So you're going to pull it open and then bring the sides in, start from the bottom and then continue all the way up to the top. The same for the other side. So you're starting from the bottom, bringing the side in, continuing and going all the way up. So now you're, you should have this. So now we're going to do the same for the other side. So flip the model over. We're making a second ice cream cone. So remember, you've got the open end facing you. That's really important. You're using this bottom edge as your cone. So you're going to bring that to the center. Again, do not go over that line. Same for the other side. And then fold your ice cream down onto your cone. Doesn't it make you want ice cream right about now? <laughs> And let's do the same for the other side. Make ice cream cone on that, or the other model, excuse me. Again, make sure that you have the open end facing you. You're using this bottom edge. Bring that to the center, not over that line. Up to, but not over. And the same for the other side. And then we're folding the ice cream down onto the cone. And then let's go ahead and continue and open it up like we did. So we're eating the ice cream, eating the cone, peel the paper, the top layer of paper up, leaving this ice cream flat. You're going to stretch the paper out like this. Start from the bottom, fold that section, continue on to the top and fold that. The same for the other side. Starting from the bottom. And again, you might have to put your finger in here and, and open this corner up if you're having some difficulty. And then glide the paper up. And this is your classic crane base because you have two wings and you've got a head and tail down here. And so now this second model here, we're going to eat the ice cream, eat the cone, stretch the paper out and bring the sides in. And the same for the other side. So now we're going to pick one, the one that you want for the crane, and put the one for the dragon aside, okay? So I'm going to use this one for my dragon. So I'll put that aside. And this is what I'm going to use for my crane. So this is actually a really simple maneuver to do the tail. You're going to take, OK, so have the model so that the wings are facing away from you and the head and tail are pointing towards you. So you got the two legs, and the two legs are, are facing you. OK, we're going to take the right side and you have two flaps here, you're going to take this and you're just going to flip it over like you're turning the page of a book. So you should see this. Now we're going to take this flap here that's pointing towards you and we're going to fold it all the way to the top. It does fold in half. So, and it should line up with all the other points up here. So go ahead and do that. Give it a nice fold. So it should look like this. And then this is very important. You're going to close it. So you see this point here? You're going to close it the way you opened it. So now we're going to flip it back this way. So your model should look like this. If it looks like this, you need to take those two flaps and just bring both of them over, and you'll be right here. So make sure you've got it. So it looks like this. And then now we're going to take the other side here. And actually, this edge here, 
is going to go line up with the center edge here. But again, you want to make sure that you don't go over. This is where you kind of back it off just a hair so that you have a little bit of space when you reverse fold the whole thing. So this top edge will come and we're going to make a super long dart that goes all the length of this section here and you're going to fold it. So here's your dart. So again, this outer edge meets the center, but you do want to back it off and leave a little bit of space. So I don't know if you can see it, but I have a little, a little space all the way down here. This is because we reverse this whole thing and you need to have a little bit of space for that to happen. Turn it over to the other side and do the same, taking this edge here and we're going to bring it to the center. Again, one long dart, but leaving a little space all the way down. So now that we have this, again, from the outside, you're going to have two, you have two flaps. So take this top flap and we're just going to turn it like the page of a book, like we did on the previous step, so that you're looking at this. Take this and bring it all the way to the top, just like we did for the tail. And give it a good crease. Make sure that these points all line up right up in here. And then you're going to take just the tip and folding it down. I'd say maybe about a quarter of the way down is good. You might have to hold the head in there so it doesn't like pop out. Take this whole flap and bring it over so it looks like this. So now we're going to reach inside here, you know, hold this in your left hand and reach inside and you see you have your head there. You're going to pinch that. So let's try this. We're going to pinch the head and we're going to rotate it out. We're not unfolding it. So remember, this is like, it's like a little lever, right? It, it goes like this. You want to keep it pinched. So you can bring it out. And if you notice on the wing, this first layer of folds, you see that, that angle right there? I like to bring it out to right about to line it up with that angle. And then you're going to fold it here. Like this. Now we're going to reach inside and find the beak, which is here. Bring it out at the angle that you want it to be at. Right about there is good for me. And then pinch right here at the top of the head and you've made the head. That is actually an inside reverse fold. That's the maneuver. But this is a way to kind of do it with a, that makes it really easy to do that. So there you go. Now reach inside and do the same for the tail. Now what's important here is the angle on which the tail needs to be. So you're going to reach inside. You're going to pinch it between your fingers. You're going to pull it out. Again, you're not unfolding it. You're keeping it pinched, right? And here's your little lever that goes back and forth, up and down. At the base of the wing, if you follow the wing tip down here, you see this point right here at the end of the wing? That's how far you want to bring the tail. You see, I'm bringing it down to that point here and then fold. This is really important to, um, uh, to make it fly. If, it's too, if the angle is too high or too low, it's not going to work. So this is the, ang the perfect angle that you want it to be at. So now we've done, we've completed the flying crane. To fold it, this is really important. Do not, I repeat, do not take Tempt, be tempted to take this and fold the wing down. If you fold the wing, it's not going to fly. So what you want to do is kind of hold each wing in each hand and very gently pull open, coax the wings out from the base. So you want to reach down here where the shoulders are and just, you know, very gently kind of roll down so that the wings stay open like this. Again, do not fold. Everybody likes to fold it and I'm like, no, don't fold it. So it's just opening the wings very gently so it looks like this. So now here's the fun part. 
hold it at the base of the neck right here at this point, not, not higher or lower. You want to go right here at the point, leaving the wing free. And then you want to hold the tip of the tail. The tail is going to be pointing in one direction. That's the direction you want to pull. So here we go. Grab the tip, make sure you have this, and very gently pull in that direction. There's a flying crane. Okay, so now, Mr. Dragon, so you have your crane base. We're taking this flap and we're bringing it over, flipping it like the page of a book. So you're looking at this, taking this flap here and bringing it all the way to the top, folding it in half. So now we're going to make the detail for the, uh, the tail of the dragon. And what I want to do is kind of divide it up visually into thirds. I'm going to start at here, this part here. And you're going to take this and you're going to fold it down. So you're creating a valley fold. And you can use this center to line up your point. So your point should kind of meet the rest of this leg here. So you're going to go ahead and fold that down. And then now the stair step fold is another valley fold going back up. But we want to make a little, make it just very, very small. So I am going to fold it back up. And again, you want to kind of keep the center lined up. So my pleat is like, it goes from here. And you, I don't know if you can see the, the width of the pleat. It just comes back like this. A really small pleat like that. And now we're doing the second one. I'd say right about here. We're going to fold the flap down. And then fold it back up. Little tiny stair step fold. Okay, it should look like this. And then one final one for the tip of the tail. So you're going to take that, fold it down, and it usually is about, you know, that'll kind of meet the edge of that fold right there, and then you bring it up. Just a little detail on the, on the, for the tail. So it should look like this. And then now we're going to take this and we're going to close it up. So you want to kind of flatten this or hold this in place and then you're going to close it up. So now we're going to narrow the head here like we did with the flying crane. So you're looking at your model like this. You're taking this outer edge here, just the top flap, and we're folding it into the center and again, you, you want to back it off just a little bit and have a little space going all the way down. So it looks like this. And you see I left that little space going all the way down. You make sure it goes all the way down. Now we're going to flip this model over and do the same for this edge here. So you're going to bring that into the center. But again, you're backing it off and leaving a little space. All the way down. Now we're going to take this edge here and you're going to flip it over like the page of a book. So now we're looking at this and we're taking the head here and you're bringing it all the way to the top, lining it up with the top points here and making your fold. And then we're closing it up the way we opened it. So back over. Now, this might be sticking out a little bit. That's fine, because we're going to do some maneuvers to make the head. So now we're going to reach in, and we're going to bring it out. And uh, just like how we did with the other ones, you're going to pinch this with your between your fingers. Pinch it. We're going to bring it out. For the flying crane, remember we stopped at this first pleat, but we're going after the second one. You see that second one that's there? So you're going to bring it all the way down to line up with that second pleat. 
should be right here. This one here. So now we're going to do an outside reverse fold. This is pretty easy. You're going to be unfolding this here. And we're going to, well, actually, let's do a pre-crease to make it a little bit easier. Let's do a pre-crease that goes at an angle that's about right, you know, about here. I would say it's about maybe not quite halfway, maybe short, just shy of being halfway. We're going to take the neck and we're not going to unfold it yet. We're just going to keep it flat and we're just going to make an angled fold that goes up so that it ends about parallel. You see the space here? So that's about the angle you want it to be at, okay? Give that a good crease and then unfold it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open up this section here, uh, lift it all away from the table, it's gonna be easier. Now we're going to take the paper and we're going to reverse, we're gonna open this up. And do you see the fold that you created here? So you're going to continue to do that, but the other side, you have to reverse the direction of that. But the fold is there. So what we're doing is you lift it up, and this is folded. Now you're going to fold this here, and then you pinch so it ends up like this. So now for the head, if you look at the head, we're doing, we're kind of opening this out and we're kind of, it's like a, a three part fold, okay? So just bear with me, watch this before you actually do it and then it'll kind of make sense and you'll know what to look for. So you have, here's your head. So turn it so that you're looking at it head on like this. If you look at it, you've got one layer here and one layer here. Let's see, and then you've got the layers here. So what I want you to work with are the two outer layers here. What we're doing is we're going to open this up kind of like what we did with the crane base, but going the opposite way. We're going to open this up here. And this is about halfway, okay? So let me see if I can give you a good close look at this. So let's do one side. We're taking one side, and from that last point that we, we created, we're doing a fold from here to about halfway. So you're going to open this up. And fold it so that it goes from this point out here. So you see, it kind of looks like before you collapse the uh, crane base part and the pedal fold. And do the same for the other side. So the other side is going to be, you're going to open this up. I'm going to fold this out. See if I can open this a little bit more. So it should look like that. Kind of looks like a crane base, right? So the fold again goes from this point out to the edge there. So you're opening this up here like that. And you're opening this up like this. So it's kind of sticking up right now like that. Okay. So now we're going to take this and fold it down at that halfway point, okay? Fold it down, so it should look like this. Go ahead and fold that. So now, let's go and you wanna push this back and pinch this and get back to this 
here. And then you want to pinch the head flat like that. And then one more maneuver, just the point here. I like to take it and just fold it back just a little bit. Like this. And so then when you fold the head, it's kind of like little flames or maybe like little whiskers or something like that here. So then now we're going to work on the tail. So you're going to let's move it over this way. We're going to reach in. You want to pinch the whole thing without undoing those cleats, right? So I would reach in and grab it towards the bottom, kind of grab that bottom, this bottom cleat here. And you're going to swing the tail out. And remember I was saying about um, lining it up with this here. So we're li lining it up with this here. And we're going to give it a fold. And then now what we want to do is we're going to create, you see how the tail is curved and this is currently straight. This is really fun. You're basically going to pull, let's start with this outer tip here. If you grasp it here and grasp it at the base, what you're doing is you're going to rotate and you're going to pull it this way so that it pops up. So you're stretching the paper from the bottom of the pleat there. Now we're going to work on the second one. Hold it here, hold it here, and you're going to go this, you're going to pull it up this way. We're rotating against this point here. So you're swinging out the bottom. So pull it out until it stops and then pinch like that. Then we've got one more back here. So hold it kind of in the middle of the model and pull it up. Okay, so now this should be all of the folding and we're gonna go ahead and fly this thing now. So we wanna reach inside and remember, don't fold the wings down. We want to stretch the wings out as far as it'll go. Hold it at the base of the neck. <laughs> Hold it on either side of the, the neck here, kind of fold it out. Let's do that. Now hold it here, hold it at the tail and fly. There's your flying dragon.